Okay, Dwayne here for a quick little preview tutorial. I don't know what you want to call this thing, just a demonstration, I guess, uh, of the awesomeness of not only RAW, but of the Nikon D600-610, which I have, the 610. Um, this is a photo that I took a couple yesterday um, with my uh, new used Sigma 20mm 1.8 lens. Um, so this is, uh, this is the exposure straight out of camera untouched and so we can see up here uh, it's the full 24 megapixels from the camera and um, so I'm just going to go through, I've already edited and processed this photo a little bit but I just want to go through and show you uh, quickly the things that I did to uh, to make it look kind of okay. Uh, so lens profile doesn't do a whole bunch, just fixes distortion on auto and then I brought my shadows all the way up I also brought my blacks up quite a bit. Uh, I dropped my highlights down and my whites down. Then I increased my exposure some more. Increased contrast and clarity. And then I did some sharpening uh, as well as some smoothening and I tweaked those, uh, those numbers a little bit. Can't really see them in this preview. A uh, little bit more contrast, a little bit more noise reduction and warmed it up just a little bit uh, but the sky was still kind of blown out and washed out for me so I added a grad filter to the sky but my preset that I had was the wrong way around so adjust it to more of a cool a uh, little bit underexposed and then I just moved my grad around a little bit till I was happy with it some increased contrast in my sky a little bit more adjustment to the color in my sky, a little bit more clarity in my sky, and sharpness and noise reduction, and there we go. So as we can see, this photo is, you know, usable as a as a small res preview or small res, you know, a web picture maybe. Um, but when I first saw this, when I took the picture in my camera yesterday, I was in a hurry. I just snapped it and I was like, oh, that's kind of dark, I don't know if it's going to be usable or not, but lo and behold, um, quite usable, at least for uh, for demonstration purposes. Um, one thing with the Sigma lens is it does give a very heavy uh, flare. Um, depends on, on your tastes, I suppose, but for most landscape photography, the flare is not desirable, so I'm not a fan of that flare, at least going straight into the sun. So I have some more experimenting to do with this lens. Um, but, uh, yeah, that is where I'm at with, uh, with this photo. And this was shot at f16, so at f16 it does give a decent, uh, sun star, uh, low ISO and 100, uh, two hundredth of a second. Um, I was using center weighted average because I wanted to try and get that sun's exposure to be not totally blown out, but that's kind of where I wanted the focus of my exposure to be was right there. Uh, so if we look at the original image, uh, that's what it attempted to expose for. And there we go. The awesomeness of RAW and the detail and the color detail that is available in something that otherwise um, could, could say was, was mostly useless. Uh, if I were to take this with a regular point-and-shoot camera and it turned out black like this, it really would be black and useless. Uh, but now... Uh, because of the awesomeness of RAW and the uh, the dynamic range of the sensor in the D610, uh, I have quite a bit of information here to uh, to adjust. However, as I was mentioning, it's not the best for um, a full quality print because of the noise. If we just zoom in on this, um, we can see that there just there's not much sharpness there. Even though it was at f16, just the sharpness and the detail is is all you know just missing and. Uh, with some noise reduction and some, you know, sharpening applied, it still leaves a lot of uh, a lot of things to be desired. So, anyway, that's it for now.